Talk Baby is a gaming show for the average Joe and far beyond. Far beyond, not only in the sky and the waters, but underground where the g- crab people are. The crab people? The are, crab people. Do the crab people fight the mole people? No. No, they killed off the mole people because the mole people, uh. the mole people had a fear weapon and the crab people just wasted them. They're like, they said, come in, we're the crabs, and he gave it to them. Darwinism and its best humans, people. Far beyond. And far beyond. Anyway, so today's another segment in our Games to the Future segment. Yes, I didn't give it a name last time because I thought about it after the show. Games of the Future. Games of the Future. Holy Games of the Future! Games of the Future! Future Games of the Future! (laughs) Wee! <laughs> what? <laughs> we're going back Morty, to the we're, front. We're, uh, Morty, we're, we're gonna do some games. <laughs> oh, we're trying to reference this time, Rick. Oh, we. Oh, we. Anyway, so. The, uh, okay, so all month long in January, we're doing the whole. Um, doing. Um, well, how can we say it? Future talk. What's the word for future talk? We are re- uh, previewing. 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 Fucking the consoles, (laughs) the consoles, and what they're going to be doing this year in 2018. We'll kind of touch upon what's already been announced and and um, our speculations, our speculations on on the subject and what they possibly need to do to kind of stay on in line of where they're at. Will it be get more games? Uh, Put Bluetooth? Maybe they want to battle with other VRs. Well, Well, you you, you know, you know, you know, what's called Nintendo's was last week. People, please go check that out if you want. Check it out. You know. I'm kind of done ranting about that. Check it out. We could always rant about it, though. We could always rant about it. Always. Nintendo. Uh, Nintendo. Uh, <laughs> You're a beautiful, beautiful target. Just, just it's a beautiful game. Just, just, it's, it's just get, you know, just get those guns and just like, just aim. Aim at that nice, beautiful Yeah, Nintendo. I'm pretty sure they're really like, they're like, listen to this podcast with the millions of dollars dropping their skin. Jimmy, they're making fun of us again. I need more hundreds to rub, rub away all the ne- negativity. Right? <laughs> 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 The biggest stack of puns. Uh, uh, like, yes, sir. Here's your uh, share swap your balls with it again. No, that's only for the ten. Mr. Miyamoto, what do you think? <sighs> he just touching it. <laughs> <laughs> if you could see this, it's like <sighs> he is touching himself, and Miyamoto is just smoking a cigarette because he smokes cigarettes. Filthy smoker. Filthy, filthy smoker. We we n- do not know Mr. Miyamoto. We have no affiliation with Nintendo whatsoever. I am. Um, I don't know any got, uncles who yeah. are fucking testers. Like uh, we don't got. Yeah, we don't got no uncles that are testers. All, you know, we don't like. It's always like a family member. We don't. We don't know. We don't know anybody who likes dads. <laughs> so. Doesn't like dads. They don't like dads. Who doesn't like dads? Uh, Nintendo. They don't like dads. They don't like dads. They don't like dads. Why? There's no must. They have at least one video game character with a mustache. How do they not like dads? <laughs> oh, then by male standards, they really love dads. They love dads. That really mustache is dads. thick. I think they really like that. That a lot. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway, well, how do how do we get here? Hey, okay, so this episode we're gonna be talking about PlayStation. Mm-hmm. PlayStation, you know, the top of the mountain right now. Although they're kind of wobbling up there a bit, you know. They did they did freaking amazing in 2017, but you know, when you're at the top and you got nobody, no competition. Well, you do, but you don't. Then you know you start to get lazy, which kind of we kind of see that trend happening right now. Well, I still see them um, slowly uh, going downhill, slowly, but not not too hard. It's a steady, nice pace because right now they tossed all their hardware. Now they have to solely focus on video games, in which they do, actually. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Trust me. I mean, this year seems just like another big wallop to the freaking nads. Yeah. Games, you know. Games, games everywhere. If you buy every single Sony game, I want to shake your hand because I want to join your company, you multi-fucking billionaire. Because there's so many damn Sony games. So many damn Sony games, or not just Sony, but third-party companies that are just kind of working with Sony exclusively. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're the Xbox 360 of this generation. Get it, kids? Get it, kids? You get it? Because we're old. Because what you really got to do is drop that controller, downgrade one, and play some fear. Right? Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. Imagine know, right? they really oh, release, like, God. the fear collection on freaking PS4. I would call Sony my god. Uh, no, yeah, right? Yeah, I'll uh, be like... Oh. Dan, non Danzig, I want to hold you. <laughs> uh, but you know what's what's actually coming out though? That's that's not necessarily fear, but still in the same realm. There, mm. you got some System Shock Two. What? No, System Shock One actually remade from the ground up. Really? Yeah. 
Uh, at least that's what I've heard, anyway. Cybernetic spookiness. A cybernetic spookiness. It's sort of like, ooh, 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 ooh. you know, exactly. So it's, it's fucking scary, dude. On part two, I mean, imagine a remake from part one. Then they just remake part two because that's, they made a lot of money. Yeah, they're like, hell, we are all collective. We're here to whip your ass. No, they didn't sound like that. They sound so fucking freaky. They're like, we're the collective. We have, we sound like robots. It is scary. It's like the board. From well, Star Trek yeah, it's like ass. cybernetic. Cybernetic freaking Bioshock. It is cybernetic. Bioshock. That shit was actually scary, scary. I'm like, future shock. fucking scary and spooky. It's surprising it wasn't called Future Shock. All right. Anyway, so that's 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 what we're looking forward to. And like, you know, Sony has a lot of games coming out this year, man. Yeah. Jeez, like. There was a yeah. big. I mean, for one, internationally they, they got to market, but also they fucking made their systems as PCs almost. You know. Oh yeah. Like they're practically PCs, and there's gonna be one guy. Not Tim, because he's still out there. He's still out there. He's returning home. He's and returning home from his voyage. Home. Yeah, we, from uh, your well, voyage. apparently, you know, some asshole spoiled the surprise that was coming back, but whatever. A wave band can only do so much. But anyway. And I blame Norman. He forgot to turn off the recording button. Norman? Oh, yeah. Norman. Well, yeah, that's what happens when we make him drink fucking absinthe. What? Duh. Well, actually, yeah, there's... You, 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 uh, you insisted on it, though. I mean, like, it's it's I told fucking you, American legal absent, though. Well, that's but that, that, well, that's the thing. Norman's from the UK. He doesn't know that. Well, then how the hell did he trip balls? Well, you, that's what I'm saying. He didn't know there was wormwood in there. There is no wormwood in there. He was just eating paint chips. Oh. Oh. He was eating paint chips. Paint chips. Yeah. Yeah. That totally makes sense. He had all the tasty fucking paint chips. <laughs> I was saving those paint chips. <laughs> you know who's... I was saving those chips for a, for a, for a happy day. Well, you know, luckily this is a Nintendo, so you don't need those paint chips to enjoy the Sony Emotes 2, the Sony games coming out. I don't need those two. Got them. Well, now that we're all hopped up on paint chips, let's talk about the heavy hitters of uh, PlayStation 4 this year. Um, first one, obviously, the biggest one is God of War. God of War. Forget about it, dude. Oh, man, everybody and their girlfriend knows about God of War. Oh, my God, dude. Straight up though, man, you, you can go and play some God of War, slice up everything, you, and you can do anything you want, hack some demons, pipe some broads, oh my god, you know, <laughs> and then you take your girl to the, to the fucking bedroom, and she's like, why are you doing this, because all the violence you want to pipe? No, 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 I just saw something, I saw something, uh, come on, let's go to the bathroom, square, 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 t t triangle. <laughs> it's like, well, this didn't make me healthy at all. It's yeah. like, I, I still feel sick. I feel sick. <laughs> you know, because <laughs> you know, it's supposed to give you health and all that shit. Oh, no, 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 you, you catch something. <laughs> you catch something. In, in real life, you catch a super clip. Oh, well, you know, that's if, you, if your girl's real dirty. <laughs> well, actually, it's like the, uh, the uh, what you call it. I can make your hands clap. It's like, it's a disease so fucked up that the clap is actually not of sync. So instead of, da, 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 it's actually more like, da, 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 da. Yeah, um, yeah. Yeah. Other game, let's see, besides Bad clapping clap. around, you know, you got other games. Bad like, touch. You know, not, you know, not clapping, but clicking, you know, you've got, um, what do you call it? <laughs> Last of Us 2, maybe. Actually, I'm not really sure that's coming out this year. I doesn't come out this year. But, 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 but guess what? Sweet ass game's about to come out on this platform, so. Like I said, they are definitely fucking whipping up the heavy hitters. Oh yeah, like uh, for <laughs> exactly like um, Ace Combat Seven. Ace Combat Seven. Seven, damn. Seven, dude. Seven. Dude, my first one was four for me, and I have to say, my oh, favorite airplane oh, series. Great. Oh yeah, dude. Right here, I still have a Ace Combat Three. It's inside one of those boxes. Right in those boxes. Oh yeah, somewhere on there, dude. Yeah, hook up that. The, you know, there's, there's a king spider in there, like smoking a cigar, just like, I'm waiting. I'm waiting on that. I know you want your Ace Combat 3. You want that Ace uh, Combat. Yeah, we're gonna hook up that PlayStation 3. You know, Sprite in the PlayStation 3 still plays fucking PS1 games. Go get down. We're gonna do that. I should get down on that get shit, bro. Get down, fly around. I mean, there's so, there so many games coming out this year, though. I mean, like, if you're if you're playing the PlayStation, there's no there's no um, shortage of games. Oh, not at all. I mean, there's even some games I just saw right now. That just, I mean, I just barely checked right now, and there's something called, uh, what was that Hong Kong game called? The Hong Kong Massacre? Oh, man. That game looks sick as fuck. I mean, that, like... Oh, my God. Dude, that looks like, um, of course, you know, Max Payne was based off a John Woo film, but 
it looks like a Jago Wu film. The graphics looks extremely amazing for a top-down shooter. I never seen this look at that. I mean, that, that's some. That's the biggest strength of that yeah. Sony has is just like you know that indie games still love coming to it. I mean, yeah, I know the Switch is kind of coming on. That's kind of trying to take the indie spot there. But I mean, come on, dude. There's games. There are games like that. Hong it's Kong Massacre. It. You can't. See, they're taking yeah, the you can. Nintendo version of uh, indie, which is like ball tosser. The, no, they're taking the, the Nintendo indie, which is PlayStation Vita, Vita's indie. No, no, I mean, like, they are taking Vita's indie, but they also have those shovelware. I mean, if you ever go to their shit, they have, like, a ton of shovelware. Games like Toss the Ball, Water the Grass. <laughs> <laughs> Cooking Mama. Oh, wait, that's a real game. That's a real game. <laughs> Mama's cooking. <laughs> Mama's going to be cooking. No, but, you know, again, back to this game, though. That's the most... I mean, i never seen such a realistic look in a top-down shooter, you know? And Sony gives that fucking... That indie touch, you know? Oh, my God, dude. I mean, like, oh, they love indie games. I mean, They're like... They're like, hey, uh, indies. I believe we might see Risk in. of Rain 2, which is another... Oh, which is an indie game I'm looking forward to. That's going to be some sick-ass shit. It is, but that new 3D... Um, that 3D look to it, it's making me wonder. I mean, oh, I'm not. Oh, I, man. oh yeah, I shit went down on the original one. I don't even know how that's gonna work in third person. Yeah, I mean, I don't think I never. I feel like the, when I was playing Risk of Rain, I felt like I was putting cheat codes the whole time, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Just jumping X, X, square, square, yeah, jump, square, jump, 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 Get stuck in like a little ditch corner and somehow you made it, like, you survived. I know, right? Right? I mean, but like, I mean besides that, I mean, we, we got like the big games coming out, like, you know, um, zombies were a thing back then. I remember when. When Left 4 Dead came out, that was a game to, to beat, you know? That was all about zombies, I mean... Zombies, they, they went to the market perfectly. I mean, some companies did not actually jump in the market. And some actually didn't jump because they were told it was not going to be marketable, but Valve proved them wrong with Left 4 Dead and its sequel that came after Left 4 Dead 2. Yeah, exactly. Um, you know, as much as zombies is an old thing now, I mean, like... Oh. I mean, we've gone through the whole zombie craze already, and then off, and then apparently it's coming back because, I mean, oh, Call of Duty zombies just came out on, on World War II, and then now we got Metal Gear Survive coming out. Metal Gear Survive. Metal Gear Five. with zombies. Now, what? Metal Gear with zombies. What the hell is that? That's Metal Gear Survive. Well, really? Yeah. Well, what's, so, what's so special about this? Well, you know, okay, ever play Metal Gear 5? Yes. Well, it's slick ass stealth based control scheme. Uh huh. Except that now you build bases and fight against zombies. You can build bases too? You build bases, you build traps. Oh, dude. Uh, oh, my God. But, dude, I mean, like, the, that's the fun part, but, you know. Like, the way they get you to get out of your base is like, hey, look, there's a shiny little mini freaking Metal Gear Rex over here. Come get it. Surrounded by zombies. Get it. Do it. <laughs> get it. <laughs> you, want it? you want this mech? This no. mech. Oh, that's cool. Get it. <laughs> get it. Um, besides that, zombie shooters, you got, you got Days Gone also coming out this year, I think. Oh, I mean, that game. See, that'll be another game that'll be perfect with a horde mode component as well. Well, I mean, like, yeah, I mean, when you. I mean, yeah, they're doing the, the whole uh, World War Z zombie style. Oh, I guess, you mean, know, there's floods of these pricks just Yeah, running you know, I mean, like, you know, I see, like, when you look at the previews, it's like, you know, you could set up traps, okay. you could tell me. But, oh, no, 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 the, the trippy part is they got zombie bears. Okay, here's the thing. What? Zombie bears. Zombie bears. You know, Smokey's all like, yeah, you did it, but uh, your forest fire. You should have put it out to you, Bellots. Ah, <laughs> I'm a bear. Uh, Stephen Colbert's worst nightmare. <laughs> zombie bear. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, you know, I gotta ask you this question. You see all those running zombies. How many PF flyers do they have? Well, you know, PF flyers made the average man run and jump higher. They made the average So, man. you know, zombies don't really... Jump higher, but I they run faster. Though. They do. So, how many PS flyers do you see on the screen? Mm, well, you know, now with the current PS4 graphics, uh -huh. apparently a thousand. That's a lot of PS4 flyers. That's a, PS4 That's flyers. a lot of pairs right They're there. PS flyers. Do it, run, homies. <laughs> get, get this guy. Everybody's running away from us. We're gonna get some meat. <laughs> you know, it's all like, you know, these games are like, they, by the way, it seems, it seems like almost like a team game as well. It looks I mean, well, I mean, like not a team game. It still like a single player game, but I think there's some, there's player. some, there's some scenes that show like two players at the same time. See, I mean, that's great, but I'm telling well, you, maybe. they're going to have a horde mode with those pricks. Uh, on, I bet you that'd be, so, that'd be great. That'd be something. Or that'd at be least something. a wave of them. Like you're on top of tower. That's something, that's down. something to look forward to, yeah. you know? Um, uh, like, you know, speaking of, um, speaking of team based games, I mean, mm -hmm. you got games like, uh, what is it? A wave. Out. A way out. This game, it, um, it made a big thing happening at the Game Awards. They, the creator, kind of went off on a, on a tangent because that dude was he was hilarious. Well, what, what's the game about, though? Uh, well, you're like two two prisoner dudes who are like um, 
Oh, I guess escaping. Oh, yeah, you know, you, you yes, see. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like kind of like you see from the prison, prison break. Yeah, it was prison, prison break. The game. You know, there was a prison break. The game. I bet there was. There was. What was it like? Like you press a certain button, yeah. it, would, it would spin right there, and it just you pressed it. I, I might be confusing this with another game, but I'm pretty sure it was a mini game kind of game. Probably. Huh? <laughs> shake the guard. <laughs> shake the guard. Shoot it to like shake more guards than your friend. Tappy. Pick the soap. Don't pick the square. Square. <laughs> square, square, triangle. Square, 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 square. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. This is not God of War. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. You caught that shit. Now God of War has little boys. <laughs> so you yeah. don't, you can't square in God of War. You can't square in God of War. You that can't. Should, that, that could be a little fucking shirt. Can't square. <laughs> you can't square. There's, there's <laughs> no hair. <laughs> you can't square when there's no hair. You hear that? No, uh, the, uh, fucking Cheeto munchers. <laughs> Damn Cheeto munchers. Like, oh, I'll, I'll square what I want. <laughs> oh my god. Munching on Cheetos. That's fucking Leland right there. Or freaking audio tech. Chump, man, chomping on his freaking Cheetos. Wait, what's his name? <laughs> his name's Leland. Leland? Why is his name Leland? Oh, stop, oh, stop, stop, over one sec. Hey, bro, your name is fucking Leland? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck you do, bro? <laughs> but, but, you know, Leland, Leland's good at the... Uh... What's his last name, dude? Leland Lila? <laughs> Leland Van Lu. <Lue. laughs> <laughs> oh, what are you paying though? I mean, what the fuck? I mean, well, I know I mean, we well, go to the gas station. I mean, but, well, but, you, you know, but Leland has, Leland has a very good skill. What? And he's looking forward to a couple games himself. What? He's looking forward to Persona dancing. Persona 3 dancing and Persona 5 dancing. Okay, I know he's a heavy set dude and all, but you know, we have both you, know that. Have you ever seen him play DDR? Yes, and I, I'll tell you every time that how the fuck is he doing this? And I'm not saying because he can't do it. Bro, Leland. <laughs> <laughs> no offense, bro. You're, you're, how do you break the fucking? How do you go faster than light with that body, man? You're breaking everything I said work for. Well, I mean, have you ever heard of hand-eye coordination? Well, he has hand-feet coordination. Yeah, no, he moves. He moves so fast. You can't go faster than the speed of light. Well, no. Well, it's well, that's well, that's why he has a cosmic treadmill. What? He has a cosmic tre treadmill. Oh my god, dude, that that thing allows him to go faster than the speed of light. So that's how Tim went to the fucking. Moon. That's how he went to Jupiter. That's so, fast. so fucking awesome. He beat the Hubble te telescope space thingy. Wait, I, it's not it's not called Hubble. What is it? Cassini, something like that. Cassini. What well, you know that 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 spaceship thing that went to Jupiter to to, to take pictures? Oh. Well, oh, Tim wow. went there to take sound. That's dope. Using the cos cosmic treadmill. That's. <laughs> <laughs> while while Leland was running on it. That's pretty cool, man. Well, frankly, I don't but blame him. He's a he's a great fucking drummer too. He's a good oh yeah, good drummer. With that kind of body though, I'm surprised he he's fat. Well, he does. He apparently does it for style. You know, he goes to his one place, big and tall store that always has this, this big and tall. Big and tall. Hi, this is Phil's big and tall store, and we sell big and tall stuff. And what I mean by that, I mean our fat shit is tall and our tall shit is fat. <laughs> <laughs> this fat shit is all this shit. <laughs> yeah, they have everything, dude. They have everything, huh? Yeah, no, everything but um, what's called? <laughs> you know, that that's what I'm saying. Ba uh, freaking, how do I say it? Uh, Team-based games, you know. Um, actually, the last one probably wasn't a team-based game. When Which one? About it. The the Persona game, but then, you know, only Leland's looking forward to that. Leland's. But like, no, um, there's like it's but based off of everything we've said, there's a lot of team-based games coming out, which I, I miss. I miss Couch Co-op. Yeah, uh, dude, straight up Diablo stuff. Oh yeah, dude, straight up. Or um, maybe some uh, what's it called uh, with Wizards. I mean, like you know, you were even doing LAN parties. You know, you remember doing that with Halo? I'm not doing any fucking LAN parties. Well, man. Dude, we're not, not doing. Well, we don't do it. That's why I we remember, have headsets. See, I have fucking fine. I have three headsets now. Yeah, right. Oh, but anyway, um, I, I had a good times, you know, back in the day, you know, LAN partying with my friends, you know. But you know, since <laughs> I wear I'm, my tux to LAN parties. That's cool. <laughs> You dress to impress? <laughs> dress to impress. You wear your fucking Rolexes too? I seen this guy with a fucking Rolex and a fucking, um, a sweet ass suit. And he has a, oh my god, this, this suit was good. And okay. here I was rocking my fucking, uh, Benny ha uh, Bahama shit, you know, what's it called? Uh, yeah, I wonder. Tommy the Troopers. Tommy Bahamas. Tommy Bahamas, you're yeah. Fucking, you fucking Hawaiian shirt wearing son of a bitch. Well, I was smoking a sex cigarette, talking Ooh. about fucking Martians and shit, you know. And, <laughs> like, where the fuck are all these Martians? <laughs> I can't find them where I am. Anyway, though. My right. attorney was fiend out. Anyway, uh, let's, uh, back to the thing. Like I said, a lot of games coming out on multiplayer. Biggest one I'm looking forward to Monster Hunter World. Ooh. That's going to be sick. They finally rehauled the fucking game how it should have been, you know? Oh, man. An dude. HD Monster Hunter, and that's what an HD Monster Hunter I mean, dude, I mean, like, with a group of people who actually love to freaking just 
You mess around with that, I mean, come on. There's your cock catch yep. go up right there, man. Oh, yeah. Or even online. Fuck it, dude. That's awesome. Oh, well, yeah, dude. Like I said, that's what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? Like, even online. Like I said, hey, you know, you're online. across the world. I'm across the world. We're not really that far apart, but you know what I'm saying. Dude, hey, we be like, hey, look at that big ass dinosaur. Your ass is setting up a trap. My ass is calling him with my fucking dinosaur whistle. Cause yo. I, it was like, yo. Hi, homie. Yo, hip hop T Rex. Hit yo, T-Rex? <laughs> yo, I got some sweet jam for you. He'd be like, yo, yo, man, I'm coming, I'm coming right now. I am um, coming fast as I can. What? Because I'm a hip-hop T-Rex, best as I flan. What's a flan? No, what's a flan? What's a flan? I don't know. Lil- uh, you know Leland, come here. What's his name again? Leland. Leland, you fucking goofy-looking bastard, come here. <laughs> it's all like, what's a flan? What's a flan? <laughs> I hope... What, what do you mean it's like a jello? Oh, fl- oh, flan. 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 Oh yeah. Oh duh. Okay. Yeah, oh yeah, shit. Flan. I guess the hip hop T Rex is a fucking fan of fucking Mexican. Yeah, apparently he lo- he loves Mexican dishes. I homie, I got this Mexican disease. Uh, Dessert. Mex- <laughs> disease. <laughs> Dessert. Hell no. This fucking flan is delicious. I had it multiple times. It's there, sexy. There ain't no Mexican diseases. You're crazy. What are you Except been playing? The Mexican. Um, what you call? What you been playing? Too much Far Cry. The Mexican clap. <laughs> Wait for pause. Wait a minute. Far Far. <gasps> Hey. 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 Hey, mister, not touching on sensitive subjects. We can, we, hey, 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 I didn't say it. Say what? Say exactly. Say what? Far Cry 5 is an amazing looking game. If you did not know, Far Cry 5 has communist weapons. <laughs> That's right, it has an AK-47, a communist wait, weapon, wait, wait, wait. shame on you. So, so does, a, so does a Uncharted. That's your main gun, actually. First of all... And Uncharted is not the real AK, it's Drake's AK. He made it, he's Miss Drakeness, he's, he's, parts he's, of his hair, wood from a fucking mahogany tree, and, and he, he bossed it. There's probably some Jack and Dexter inside that gun, too. Borrow a little bit of Jack and Dexter, you know. <laughs> you know, a little, bandy, it's not a little bandicoot. That's a democracy weapon. He was bringing democracy <laughs> to all those... Certain democracy! Oh, when we're gonna get a Helldivers 2? Helldivers 2, imagine. <laughs> we're gonna fly down democracy! <laughs> Uh, anyway, though, I mean, there's so many games to look forward to. Shadow of the Colossus, Dragon Ball Fighters. I mean, uh, 2018 looks like an amazing year. Dragon Ball Fighters literally looks like what me and my brother always wanted, man. An actual fucking cartoon. Cartoon. Or, because not, we both know it's not an anime. It's not an anime. Then, there's too much action for it to be an anime. It's a cartoon. Wait, we grew up, that was our G.I. Joe. Yeah, G.I. Joe! You should really not do bad shit. <laughs> right? Exactly. <laughs> Don't do bad shit. Except that it was more like, hey, we should drag shit out for multiple episodes. G-I-J-O! It's only been three minutes. Oh my god, dude. Remember when he, remember that episode where fucking Frieza blows some hole on his. It's all, you like, got five minutes, seven episodes later. Drag balls are all. Don't <laughs> hurt then he turns <laughs> super Aryan. <laughs> oh, that, what, no, that, he does that before. Blonde hair, blue eyed, super Aryan. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. He's like, ah, Zika! And then he just freaking goes uh, ape shit on these guys. And he's just like, well, fuck this. <laughs> That's it, but, you know, we, we, if you're probably in our, our general age group, mm-hmm. you know this already. You know this. You know, he turns you super Zika. You know this. <laughs> but Dragon Ball Fighters looks amazing. Made from the guys of Guilty Gear, so you know, that fighting game stuff. It's not gonna be like ARMS. This is a true Evo style game. You do not speak about ARMS in my presence again and Evo. We both know <laughs> Liland. What's his name again? <laughs> Leland. Eland. Where we are fucking ridiculous, ridiculous name is. I'm gonna really? call you Chupler. Why do we ha- why do we hire people with strange names? Dude, every time we go to the liquor store, we're fucking wasted. We're like, do you know anything? We're wasted, of course. We go to the random fucking homeless. We ask them if they know anything about coding. They claim they do. Obviously they don't, but we're still drunk whilst doing this. We're, we're barely sobering up. Liland is looking at us with a go fuck yourself look. You well, know? yeah, I mean, because, you know, because he's obviously a, he's obviously a DDR champion who can use a cosmic treadmill to send people to freaking Jupiter. Well, well, he used to be his the fucking band. What's the name of the band? You know, Left on Randall was the fucking name of this band that uh, his, Tim was on. Tim's Tim band, freaking um, Left no, it's the Sound of Jupiter. The Sound of Jupiter. Yeah, no, that, that was no, that was that was his. No, he was trying to look for the Sound of Jupiter. Oh yeah. Yeah. It was like freaking. What was what was uh, Tim's name? Tim's band name. I don't know, dude. But you know. Liland was a he was, he was a he was a drummer for that band. Yeah, he was a drummer. He was that's pretty why, good. That's why he's working here right now. Yes. That's the only reason why you're working here right now. You suck, Tim. At fucking everything. Tim, Tim would be ashamed. Tim is pissed. Well, I don't know. He, I mean, you know how long those fucking well, those yeah. messages and I'm like, what's good? One month later, he gets it. <laughs> <laughs> right. 
It's out here in space. When you see the cosmic rays and you get a dick pic, one month later you wonder why you're still friends. Oh, can't <laughs> look at the sun, so he cries in the night. <laughs> I stare to the sun, it makes me sad, so I go in the corner and cry. <laughs> and he cries cause he saw the dick pic from a month ago. <laughs> and couldn't respond in time. He couldn't tell his friends to fuck off and whatever his fucking drummer's name is still playing on the cosmic treadmill. What the fuck's his name again? His name is Leland. Leland? Yes. Leland, you fucking suck. <laughs> you gotta freaking push that freaking stop record button when after the show and ends. Yeah, you're like... You like, know how many stories he's told already when he didn't, nobody needs to know about it? You don't even know shit. You don't, you don't, you don't know anything. Alright, you know what? Let's apologize now. I'm pretty sure he gets the fucking fact that hit the press enter. Oh, my bad. Space. Space. You have to press space to stop the plot. Right. You understand that? You press anyway, space and that's it. Anyway. Fuck. Anyway, let's uh, let's continue back on to our show. Asshole. Right? No, no more about this cosmic treadmill of uh, Leland. Leland. <laughs> <laughs> what else? Uh, okay, where were we at? Okay, we were talking about Dragon Ball Fighters, and, yeah. you know, um, like I said, this year, this year it seems very good for games. That's the strong suit of PlayStation. Yeah. But, you know, there's some things we I'm thinking we need to, need to work on. Okay, our, the, my biggest thing is they need to focus on VR this year. Oh, yeah. I mean, not, not focus, but they need to keep it going. You know, we can't let it drop like what happened with the PlayStation Vita. And their TV, and, and their eye toy. Oh, let's face it, toy. they do not have the best track record with um, their stuff, dude. You know, with their systems, they make the best systems. I mean, the first system they made was CD based, that worked perfectly. I'm right. looking at other systems. Uh, Jaguar, you suck. Then the PlayStation 2, which ran you know, flawlessly with added graphics and a DVD player, so you can watch all the sweet movies. The fucking PS3 that launched, you know, Blu-ray, um, bigger storage and, and online gaming that was perfected almost by Xbox, but <laughs> <laughs> but it was free and it worked perfectly. Right for now, free. well, like I said, they got VR currently. So they got this for systems. Give me a second. All right, to stay relevant, the PlayStation needs to um, keep up with its current competitor, which is the Oculus Rift. It, which um, went up from, from a $600 um, dollar, um, piece of hardware to like a $300 one. Whereas the PSVR is still like at 400 which, uh, again, the PSVR itself is a pretty neat uh, system, though. See, I see the stock model for the VR, the PSVR for 300 actually. But that's just the uh, goggles. I mean, you can plug it in, use your control, and play. While the Oculus Rift, you for 400 you know, it's a more powerful system with the little hand things. But here's the thing. It's heavily dependent on strong PCs. I mean, really that's, strong PCs. That's I wouldn't, true. I wouldn't say the strongest PCs out there. I, I would say like mid-range PCs, but that's still expensive itself. While the PS4 is around 400 bucks, and the system even that, uh, yeah, yeah. A PS4 like because this thing doesn't need a PS4 Pro. You could no. get an actual $300 PS4 and run this thing. Yeah. So I mean, Any total, PS4. exactly. You, uh, you know, total 600 compared to total 800, 900. Yeah. Which is, you know, like like I said, they're in a good spot, but they still need to make sure they keep to stay on top of it, you know? Yeah. Because this stuff evolves real quickly, especially because VR uses PCs. So, you know, they, they're probably going to need something like a, uh, I don't know, like a VR2 or something, you know? A new um, update version. Would you say lighter chips or just stronger um itself well probably chips because i mean chips are the things that evolved the most i mean you could probably make a lighter system based off mm -hmm. chips alone you know but it had the same specs so that's what i'm thinking well i mean like maybe slightly i mean just like the psps remember oh, there yeah, was yeah. there was a psp uh, 100 1000 2000 and 3000 oh, they were great systems and, too and they they upgraded even the, the capacity of how the systems work were they faster with each system or yeah the ps uh, the ps the psp 3000 can play games that the psp 1000 couldn't i know but oh really yeah that's actually that's an actual thing i didn't know that the i thought it could, the 1000 could play everything no no oh, i didn't know that yeah there was or i mean like you know there was graphical updates but well, there was yeah, yeah i mean i mean it's well i mean like currently like the ps4 is right now Okay. I mean, as well, you know. I well, mean, the PS4 itself is a strong system, you know. Yeah. Even, even with the Pro, it's pretty strong. It's way stronger, but you know, yeah, the system yeah. was you know made strong already. And you know. But I mean, like the, you know, the the PlayStation needs to kind of make sure they stay on top of these systems. I mean, they didn't do so well with the with the Vita. I mean, they dropped that thing maybe a year or two after. They dropped it like a hot potato, in fact. It's it's sad because I mean it's such a good system. I mean, if they would have kept on it, they could have competed using that. Uh, against the switch. I mean if anything 
the biggest flaw from their thing is not even advertisement. It's those cards. They're oh, too expensive. Yeah. I mean, the strongest one, which is a 64 uh, gig memory card, was around $100, while at the same price of, let's say, a flash um, yeah. flash stick is what? what huh? 30? Like what? Yeah, 200. For almost 200, 150? Yeah, exactly. I mean, I got my uh, 64 gig uh, flash drive. Gig. Oh, yeah. Gig, I mean, for Christ's sakes. Um, flash drive at around $15, I think. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that is what killed the Vita. It's sad because, I mean, the PSP itself, the PSP was a great machine. Great thing. I love that thing. The cards were priced pretty well for those, too. I mean, the games were not as big, but let's face it, it's back in the day. So yeah, back in the day. But, and the, but the, like I said, the game, the, the system itself was amazing. And that's kind of what lagged it on the, on the Vita, you know? I mean, like, the Vita was heavier. The PSP was nice, slim, mm -hmm. soft, and so freaking light. <laughs> oh yeah. But like, I'm a, the video was not that light though. It's, again, it's that those cards. I mean, those cards were the ones. I mean, if you're a developer, you, you have a big game. You, uh, bigger games mean bigger things. You just can't say fun is fun. Well, fantastic. That shiny little piece of fun, no matter what, needs more data because not everyone can be compressed. And before all those guys that say, well, there's a code out there could, that could compress anything to a magical thing. Well, okay, guess what? Get the code. Exactly. Yeah, find that code. And then we could have different arguments. But in the meantime, the code is lost. We can't use it. They had to compress way too much. And that, and the fact that it's so big, it, uh, we need uh, more memory. And exactly. You know, and like I said, the, the big thing about that, I mean, like, like you know, you got third parties still supporting it, yeah. which is good. You know, I mean, like, you know, the, you know, the good thing is that, you know, with, as long as Switch uses indie games, the Vita has a home for games as well. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, like... I mean, not all the Switch games hope to God, like, pass the ball or drink the milk. <laughs> <laughs> drink the... Drink, drink the, the milk. What happened? The, the bleach. Ooh. Drink the bleach. That's the sequel to Drink the Milk. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they drink the milk, now drink the bleach. <laughs> no, but yeah, it's good. exactly. And there's actual games like that. You know, um... There's one that gets me, uh, Cookie Mama. Cookie Mama. That's an actual game. Well, that is an actual game, but I think it was the Wii series. Oh, uh, yeah. But, you yeah. know, I'm pretty sure there's a, there's a Switch series version. Of course, you know, you drop the, the screen and then you win. <laughs> like, so, so waggle those wiggles. Waggle the wiggles. Waggle the wiggles. <laughs> what are those controls called again? Um, the, the, uh, the, the, the squigglers. The, the, um... The squigglers. Uh, what are they? The Joy-Cons. See, they could be called Controller 1. <laughs> no, I mean, no, 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 they couldn't be called Controllers. No, that'd be stupid. No, joy that'd cons. be... The joy cons. <laughs> the joy because it brings you joy. It's just the same mentality. It's called the Wii because that's what you say when you play it. <laughs> Wii! Ooh, Wii! The Mr. Poopy Butthole system. Great. No, that was, that, was, that was the second one. That was the Wii, except the backwards. Ooh, it was Wii. the Wii. And the Japanese like, we hurt one way, and we'll have it. It's like the movie Lord of War, you know, instead of saying Lord of War, they like it the other way. <laughs> <laughs> no, exactly. It's, it's, it's not, it's not, ooh, we, it's we, ooh. <laughs> and people like, oh, we, I'm tired of these assholes. I think I'll go to Sony's cart. Oh, boy, oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 anyway, though, like I said, um, like I said, oh, so okay. the Vita will always have a home, no matter what. At least at the current moment. I mean, um, like I said, but yeah, the Switch, the Switch, it's, yeah, that's its own thing, you know. But um, yeah. like I said, VR is the big thing right now on Sony's plate, and they need to stay on top of that. They gotta start, you know, serving that plate, frankly. Yeah, exactly, because you know, what? I mean, I would love to test myself on. But some here's VR the thing, though, this VR. time it actually looks like the try. I mean, there's a shitload of games and good established games too. Oh yeah. People are saying, but Skyrim was seven years ago. Yeah. Skyrim, that's fantastic. Or Arena of Time. Yeah. What do you say about that? It's the best game ever. Yeah, it's years ago. Shut the fuck up. Exactly. You yeah. know, but I mean, like, you know, you, but, I mean, there's great games coming out. Payday I mean, they just, they, you know, Payday 2, I don't know how they're going to get that running, but, you know. Oh, man. I'm going to like, go down in that game. Da. I'm going to just have a light machine gun going in. Da, 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 looking around like, you know, coppers look, everywhere. Look. Coppers everywhere. Man, the coppers. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> right? Imagine it was like old school. It's all like, hey, we got you, little brother. It's all like, you can't get me, coppers. You can't get me, your mums. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you got that. Um, we got you surrounded. Get out of the car. Get out <laughs> That's of the car. That's what I was going with. There you go. <laughs> Get out of the car! Get we out. got you surrounded! <laughs> no, but... Where are the fucking coppers? Get out of the bar! Yeah, right. <laughs> You'll never get us a bar. Yeah, but, um, well, yeah, besides that, we, um, 
No, I mean, for uh, real games coming out, like Ace Combat 7. Ooh, Ace Combat 7, uh, you know, you, that's going to have support. Dude, that's first of all, support. all right, two things I could see huge. All right, two games at least. First, it's Ace Combat mm-hmm. 7. Find uh, yourself in that danger blind, zone. What? One thing, if they pull it off of VR, I'm going to be like, Just best that. shit ever. Right? Armored core. <sighs> Imagine Ooh. shooting like that. I mean, one hand with mis- missiles, the other hand with fucking oh, uh, that would be beautiful. Switching. Imagine switching weapons no. with a fucking stick. We're, like, fine, we're not getting an armored core, unfortunately, not for a bit. But oh, that's what's good. But um, Mech Warrior though is making it, is making a sequel. Ooh. Is it Mech Warrior? Yeah, I believe it was Mech Warrior. Yeah, dude. So you know uh, that's gonna be something. May hopefully they put some VR in that bitch. That isn't Mech Warrior's uh, Xbox only? Uh, well, I'm not sure though. I know Xbox I might be has wrong. It. Yeah, yeah, it might be. Yeah, yeah. well, and let's say if they do, I mean, hey, mech series. games either way. We would love some mech games for VR. We want some mechs. That, that's what PlayStation needs to do. Get some mech games in there. But um, yeah, VR. Like I mean, there's a game coming out called The Inpatient. Inpatient. Yep. What's it's that about? no the the inpatient. The inpatient. Like uh, yeah, you know, once went, you went, you know, Wait, like are, you're going into a a a uh, hospital inpatient like you're inpatient oh okay yeah. I thought you meant like oh, no no not, not like oh I can't stand being here I can't, I can't sit down I can't sit down I can't take a standardized no, not, not, test not, not, not inpatient <laughs> in okay but yeah inpatient. it's kind of it's kind of like a prequel to uh, to what was that game that horror game called um yeah, I don't know <laughs> uh, I'm too impatient to find out alright it's a sequel to, to um huh. why can't I think of that name of that game oh darn Oh well. Oh well. It's a sequel to to one of the the more horror based games that you get to decide which way you want to go and all that stuff. It's it's a good game. Okay. Let's well, put it that well, way. Okay. This game. This, this game. game is a prequel to that game. Okay. But what's it about them? Uh, apparently a spooky hospital. Oh man. But imagine that shit in VR and creepy people like, hi there. What do you do? Like imagine that like a creepy like mental guy looking at you like. Hi. See that that's creeping all, but I, I I think a scarier version of that. You're 40, and there, and there's a demented man with big fingers trying to give you a prostate exam with a cloud nose. Oh. He sounds like Robin Williams. Come here. Oh, 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 oh. No. Get away. Oh, 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 I gotta check that prostate. Oh, oh. That's a little mean. That's a little mean. <laughs> but he did name his daughter Zelda. As you can see, we hate the Nintendo on this channel. No, I'm kidding. We really love Nintendo. We do love Nintendo. We, I mean, we were raised by it, you know. All I know is this, if Robin Williams Robbie came Williams. in at night with two figures. Yeah, that's nightmare yeah. fuel. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, oh. Look at you. Look at the nano I mean, like, in, <laughs> <laughs> Hong Kong. <laughs> no, but, okay, no. Yeah, VR, VR is, uh, is, uh, the, is the thing that Sony needs to work on this year. I mean, and then staying on top of the mountain. I mean, See, you know, try not to get too boring because you gotta not fucking have a mountain. You gotta have a plateau there. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Mm-hmm. Nobody talks about the plateau. They just talk about the top of the mountain. The top of the mountain. It's all like you don't want. Sony don't need to ski down it. They just need to stay on top. You gotta stay on top and plateau that. You, you you freeze. You freeze at the top of Mount Everest. And when you go to the the, the, <laughs> the very edge of that plateau, you go around in circles. God damn it! And you, you keep, keep going. There. You keep going. You're Cooper the quick bitch. And when you go down, I bet it's better because you be going down no price. Or right. Yeah. Well, it's God. Yeah, exactly. I mean, like, um, like I said, that that's that's the big thing. There's not much to worry about Sony. I mean, yeah. they have su- such a good lineup of games coming out. For one, it's a safe they're, company. They're st- it's a safe company. Yeah. You know, I mean, I'm like, I'm hopefully they they'll s- at least make some more big announcements and actually give us really good dates on them, because that's kind of their only thing is they're they, they're taking their little cautious. And to me, I think they need a little bit more of a hesitation. Make sure. You know, don't get too complacent because, you know, the other companies can't pull something out of their ass. No. You don't think so? I mean, come on. I mean, we got the Xbox episode next week, but trust me, I, I'm like, what I'm, what I'm thinking about, I mean, they could be... I mean, they're, they're too calm about only having two games coming out. See, that means... That, what that means is... Because I, I, I just want to think, it's either they don't have anything and they're humble with that new present. I mean, I'm yeah, like, right? Or... Or they got something up their ass. Or they got something up their ass. And it'll be like... So, hey, y'all went to the new Smash Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> well, Xbox and Nintendo are teaming up to bring you cross-play Smash Holy Brothers. Holy shit. That, don't even say that. What if fucking, what if Mia Morrow's like, holy shit, it's great. <laughs> it's all like. Gra- the- grab, grab the head of Xbox and he's like, was good. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> <laughs> exactly, but um, like Everyone. I said, that's that's next week. You know, Xbox can get their lumps. 
<laughs> don't, don't worry, they'll get their lovely lady homes, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, they, they, have, they don't toss amazing tech just for fun. I mean, no company is going to say, we, we built the most strongest system and we exactly. have no games. No, no. And the fans are like, well, there's no games. Like, here's the thing. They're a multi-billion dollar company. Do you think they're going to make a system and not have any games? They're not Sega with their crystal. No. They're actually like, okay, we have the system. No, we're no, no. They, they had the fucking games ready. And he launched the system with it. So they're going to announce it. And E3 is going to be huge for Microsoft. While for Sony, they're going to polish off their sweet-ass games and, of course, announce some shit that only they can release as usual. I mean, come on, dude. It's, I mean, if they, I mean if, they, if they announce freaking and by before end of the year Final Fantasy VII Remake, mm -hmm. done. 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 Yeah. They, I mean, like, the game's been announced. They just have no release date. I mean, they gave us a solid release date. They don't need to release jack shit for the rest of the year because it just caught a mic drop and that's what you do. See, all you gotta do is walk in with a robe. Hell, even have, don't even have all the clothes on. Your, your robe could be open, dick exposed. Walk up on stage with shade, just like that guy from fucking Dead Alive. Uh, that Tekken guy. No, that Tekken guy. Tekken guy walks around with the robe. The Dead Alive guy uses sunglasses and okay. he looks like Tommy uh, White. Imagine both. Imagine both. One stick naked with a robe. And when it, while he has shades, walks in and says Final Fantasy VII, drops the mic, and, and Cheetos are tossed everywhere. Yes. <laughs> oh, he has to say December. Oh, not even November. If you Final Fantasy VII. Oh my God, dude. That's when the Cheetos fly. The Cheetos will fly everywhere. I mean, there's no such thing as bras at a company. It's just Cheetos. They throw Cheetos at them. <laughs> They're like, like yes, bring off the Cheeto. <laughs> <laughs> Like I said, so, Sony's at a good position right now. There's not much to worry about there. And future. they could still drop the mic. And they could still drop the mic. That's what's funny about with that the, shit. With that game, they could drop the mic. You could say King of Mars dropped the mic. They can. Well, he, here's one thing. They have Kojima too, though. Well, Kojima's game, even though it's probably going to come out next year, in 2019, um, if they do again, if they pull that out of their ass, I mean, there's so much potential this year that Sony just. I, I think even with the, the skyrocketing Switch sales and all that stuff, Sony's still going to be on top. You guys, because you gotta remember this, uh, you know, Wii U, the Wii start started out amazingly and all that stuff, did all this stuff, but you know, by the end of it, it's it was a dying console and nobody cared. Yeah, I mean, I mean come on. What Nintendo knows how to do is not make the, word, the best systems, but yeah. knows how to market the systems. Oh yeah. They can market like. Yeah, you know, you know, rooftop Wii, parties and shit, you know. Yeah. Yeah, because ain't everybody gonna be there, you know? You're trying to freaking mingle with fucking beautiful women and shit. And I'm gonna pull out my fucking Nintendo Switch and we're gonna play some party games on this rooftop party. <laughs> It's like, first of all, who the fuck invited you? Who invited you, Leland? Nobody invited you. I can imagine some guy in Iowa, like, hi, I'm, I'm, I had too much fun hucking my corn. I'm gonna play some Switch. And the neighbor from like a mile away, you got that Switch? I got that Switch. Let's play online. Wop, wop. <laughs> uh, that's when you hear somebody jump over off the roof. Yeah, dude, that's the worst. <laughs> And then they jump off. Oh! And that was that was our uh, Sony uh, Sony um, portion of our Gates of the Future. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I mean, I as sure as hell did. Um, look forward to Xboxes next week. And um, I think uh, we're gonna cut it off right there. Mm -hmm. All right then. Have a good one. So, uh, like, subscribe our videos. Put that little notification bell. Follow me on Twitter at DJ Guttercat. And like I said, we'll see you guys next week. And then we go back to the front. Hmm. Wait, that's not how it goes. We mean, well, he says, back to the front! And yeah, yeah, dude, yeah. Dude, dude, you will dude, die dude, when dude, I dude. say it. You must die. It's yeah. Back to the front. All right. Da, 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 da. Okay. okay. What's Mike. his name again? Uh, Leland, cut that mic. Like, Leland, cut that mic. Yeah, you, you press the button. You know which button this time, right? All right, good. My fucking idiot. All right. So anyway, like I said, he's a dr the drummer, but you know we pick up this new basement uh, bassist, and he says he just needs one string, you know. Mm -hmm. So he comes in with to the into my garage, and he has the one string and he's playing, and he said, "Isn't that the greatest solo ever?" I'm like, "Fantastic." Um, here's the thing: I want a f um, someone who could play the flute, <laughs> <laughs> and not a bass string. So then he just, you know, he he walked out. And hey, what's with that red light on the microphone? What do you mean? Uh, no, dude, it's not. Uh, it's still on. No, it's not on. I, told I, I, told I said space, you, you give me fuck.